The next Bitcoin and cryptocurrency market cycle is imminent. Many new millionaires will be minted. And today we have quite a lot to talk about. This is something I've been putting off for a long time. First, I want to start off by saying nothing in this video is financial advice. Everything is simply for educational and entertainment purposes only. And next, I want to say this is my fifth attempt at trying to film this video right now. So if you gain any value from it, please drop a like. So Bitcoin has been trending up lately here and we are already seeing altcoins put up crazy numbers like a 62x return in the span of only one month. That is mind blowing. And this is nothing that's new to cryptocurrency. And what I want to talk about today is the imminent parabolic gains that will be had and the fractal nature of the market cycles of the cryptocurrency space. Six weeks ago, I posted some of these altcoins here on my Instagram story, and you can see they are already up quite a bit since then. And also some of the picks from my Discord from even earlier are performing even better. So first we have to get into understanding the Bitcoin market cycles. And I first want to quickly touch on the principle of rhythm that is talked about in the book, The Kybalion by the three initiates. I love how this is explained in the book, and I love how you can even apply some of this to the rhythmicity of the financial and cryptocurrency market cycles, the phases of boom and bust periods that are all so prevalent. So right here, we have the Bitcoin lifetime price chart. These four thick blue lines here are the Bitcoin halving events. About every four years, the Bitcoin halving occurs where the amount of Bitcoin entering the circulating supply gets cut in half. This is programmed into the nature of Bitcoin. Bitcoin is considered a hard asset, meaning it's scarce, it's finite. There can only ever be 21 million Bitcoin in existence. About 19 million of them are already in circulation. And this is very contrary to US dollars, which have an infinite supply and can be infinitely created. And if you look at the purchasing power of the US dollar, it has simply gone straight down. This means that if you have been saving US dollars over the long term, your purchasing power has fallen drastically. And this is why many people believe that money printing is wealth theft, because if there's just more supply of dollars being created out of thin air, and if all of those new dollars are not being distributed evenly to everyone else holding the rest of the dollars, then there is clearly someone taking a loss here because overall prices will increase because the amount of dollars in existence is simply larger. So the value of each dollar loses money. And this is why the money printing will wreck you in the long run. And this is why the Bitcoin price continues to trend up. If you look at Bitcoin on a logarithmic chart, meaning that the price axis goes exponential, you can see that we more or less have been in a lifetime uptrend. Now, have there been periods where we've gone from 20K down to 3K, 69K down to 15K? Absolutely. And we'll get more into that later. But what you have to see is that there's a clear direction here. And I believe that this will continue. Will it continue to flatten out as well? Absolutely. But there is something to be had from that. Let's get into the actual market cycles here when we can see a clear pattern that plays out. The first market cycle, the first bull phase of the first market cycle, Bitcoin went up 713x from bottom to top, depending on the data you're looking at. That means every dollar invested at the bottom was worth $713 at the top. That is mind blowing. That is life changing. And then we have the first Bitcoin halving event. And within 12 to 18 months, we have this another parabolic run up followed by a subsequent crash, the same pattern as the first cycle. What happens again after the next Bitcoin having here? Price runs up yet again, followed by another crash here. And yet again, in the 2020 Bitcoin having, what happens? We went for another run up here, and we experienced a crash from 69K all the way down to 15K as of this moment. And we are starting to see some strength on the side of Bitcoin here. You can see Bitcoin recently broke this approximately 682 day downtrend. And since then, the price has risen approximately just under 40% here. And essentially, we are seeing a lot of similarities to previous market cycles. And we have a, another Bitcoin halving coming up here in April of 2024. Only about 
four and a half, five months away now. The real wealth generation for this cryptocurrency bull market cycle is in altcoins. All of the recent market cycles, you see altcoins massively, massively outperforming Bitcoin and generating life-changing gains. And that will be no different this cycle. So making the right picks is very important. But that's not what this video is about. So let's move on to this clip by Rao Powell, I think is how you say his name. Uh, he explains many variables that come together that make these boom and bust, these market cycles play out as they shall. The cycle I've been talking about. So if you go back to 2008, everybody got the get out of jail free card of zero interest rates. So nobody had to pay interest on their debt. That was like a gift, right? Zero interest rates. Every government refunded at zero, but for some weird reason, they did it between three and five years. That three and five year debt cycle just keeps rolling over. It's exactly the Bitcoin halving cycle. It's exactly the economic cycle. It's exactly the US election cycle. They're all the same thing. It's this super cycle, this everything code. And we're into that point of the cycle now where the balance sheets should start rising to cover the debts from the previous cycle. So I love how he puts that right. It's not just about the Bitcoin halving. There are many factors coming into play here and all of these stars are seemingly aligning for another mega giga bull run of epic proportions. Moving along to some of these other reasons, well, we have massive, massive institutions applying for spot Bitcoin ETFs, exchange traded funds. Now, when an ETF is a spot ETF, it means that the actual investment manager has to hold one to one Bitcoin. So every one Bitcoin worth of these ETF shares that they allocate or sell, they have to actually hold and own that backing of Bitcoin one to one. So upon approval of these spot ETFs, this is going to open the institutional floodgates for literally $17 trillion of assets that are under management from these funds to now having the capability of buying Bitcoin. So if Bitcoin can see even a fraction of this $17 trillion of assets under management flow in, the price is going to go up. And again, we don't know when these are gonna be approved. A lot of people are thinking early in January because of these deadlines. But again, maybe there's some SEC manipulation. Maybe they delay it. Maybe there's some bad news that elicit some fear, uncertainty, and doubt within investors, and we do get a price dump to the downside. These are all possibilities, and one does need to be prepared for the worst case scenario. So here's another story from my Instagram. This is the gold spot ETF. When it was approved, this circle here, and you can see over the following 10 years, the price action just went ballistic here. And that is a good sign. So here's some of the world's top Bitcoin holders. You can see that MicroStrategy is one of them. And in just two days ago, Michael Saylor, the CEO of MicroStrategy, just announced they picked up another $600 million worth of Bitcoin at an average price of $36,700. And they are ruthlessly stacking. And if I had to guess, you know, having an average uh, entry price around that level that these monster, tell me it fucking turned off. Tell me it's dead and I'll lose my mind. I will lose my mind. All right, we just had our light die. We're gonna have to deal with it because I'm not filming this a sixth time. So if I had to guess, having an average entry price around where Michael Saylor and these monster money managers are accumulating their Bitcoin at, it's probably not the worst entry to have. It's probably not the top. Sure, especially now that it's out of this news, maybe this is a local top and we do come down for a bit here. Um, but in the grand scheme of things, market cycle wise, I do not see this being the top right? It's still early to one degree or another. No, you're not accumulating the bear market bottoms. No, a lot of these altcoins have already popped off their bottom. And yet a lot of new coins are yet to drop and most of the gains are yet to come. Next, I'm just going to show one of these simple log curve charts. Um, a lot of people have a million little metrics of data here. There's millions of charts online with millions of metrics of data being being shared here. But a lot of people do have price, price targets for this market cycle of anywhere from about 100K as high as 200,000 US dollars. I personally have extreme conviction that Bitcoin will break 100,000 US dollars in this market cycle sometime within 2024 or sometime within 2025. And I do think we'll top out somewhere between 100 and 140,000 US dollars. And yes, $200,000 is possible. I think it is just far less probable that we get that high this cycle. So with that price prediction in mind, I wanna come back to the Bitcoin chart. If we think in the semi-optimistic scenario that Bitcoin can reach $140,000, well, from about this point, that, that is only about a 2.6x. 
So unless you have enough money where multiplying that 2.6 times is going to generate you life-changing wealth, then Bitcoin really isn't the pick because there's just not enough gains to be had for this market cycle. Whereas altcoins that are putting in, you know, 62x within a month's time span, that can absolutely be life-changing. And I can promise you, this is the not this is not the last time we're seeing moves like this. In fact, I argue that we have barely even started because the Bitcoin halving hasn't even happened, nor has Bitcoin put in an all-time high. And most of the wild parabolic price action comes after the Bitcoin halving and after Bitcoin has put in an all-time high. I feel like I'm on Paul Revere mode right now, calling for the bull market is coming, the institutions are coming to Bitcoin. So if Bitcoin is not going to hold the keys to generating life-changing wealth, what is? So here is one of the most important charts or infographics you will see in the cryptocurrency space and is understanding the path to alt season and where these real gains come. So this works in phases. Generally in phase one, the flow of money moves into Bitcoin and the price of Bitcoin goes up. There's a saying that a rising tide lifts all ships. And this is true in the cryptocurrency world where when Bitcoin goes up, it generally drags the rest of the altcoin market with it. Bitcoin may be outperforming the altcoins at first, but it will at least trickle everything up. And we do have some phase overlaps here. So nothing is an exact science, but in general, this is how the money flows. And so Ethereum will be going back and forth, uh, competing with Bitcoin in terms of percentage gains. Phase two is when Ethereum actually starts outperforming Bitcoin. Uh, we hear talks of the flippening. The flippening is people speculating that the market cap of Ethereum will actually flip and supersede that of Bitcoin. Then we start to see monies trickle into large cap altcoins. So some of the top 10, 25 altcoins by market cap, you have BNB, XRP, Solana, Cardano, Dogecoin, just to name a few right now. Phase three is large caps are going parabolic and they're outperforming Bitcoin and Ethereum. And phase four, is the long awaited altcoin season where large caps have gone full vertical and we're seeing blow off tops. So we're seeing big pumps and a blow off top with a big dump to the downside. We're seeing mid caps and low caps and micro caps pumping all around the same time. And many of them are outperforming Bitcoin and Ethereum in terms of percentage gains. And this is where you see some of the one and $10 million market caps absolutely balloon to an above a billion dollar market cap. You start to see 20, 50, 100, 200, even 500x gains on some of these coins and tokens. And this usually marks the cycle top where you see memes are everywhere. Everyone is super euphoric. The mainstream media is pumping in as hard as possible. Your Uber driver is telling you that they're buying crypto. Your grandma is calling you asking you about crypto. This is the signal to sell. This is the signal to get out. Now, don't get me wrong. This entire structure can actually play out multiple times within a market cycle in these micro cosmic effects. But in general, when we're 12 to 18 months after the Bitcoin halving and we're seeing phase four play out, it's generally marking a market cycle top. So here's, here's another piece of recent news about the immediate short term. Another mystery whale has been accumulating a ton of Bitcoin in the past three weeks. We're talking half a billion dollars and their average buy price is the same right around 36,000, 38,000. And there is some speculation that this could be one of the asset managers, BlackRock or something, trying to front run everyone else. And, and to be clear, BlackRock has already announced that they are seeding their Bitcoin spot ETF, meaning they are buying Bitcoin to initially seed the ETF when it is approved, right? The, the ETF is not approved yet. All right, I finished filming the video and the camera died. So this video has given me a monstrous amount of stress, but we are going to push through and finish this because I want to get this information out to you guys. So BlackRock is already seeding their ETF. It is They are buying Bitcoin and waiting for the approval from the SEC for their spot ETF. If massive whales like Michael Saylor accumulating more and BlackRock openly buying Bitcoin and having all these investment managers applied for an ETF and seeing all of these similar patterns playing out as previous cycles, it's hard not to be extremely bullish. Now, if we look at this liquidation heat map, we actually just took out uh, some liquidation levels at $39,000 today. 
And there is a pool of liquidation. This is leveraged traders who are long, meaning they, they bought with leverage and they want the price to go up. And if price goes down to this level, their trade will be forced closed and liquidated. They will be forced to sell at a loss. And so we have a large liquidation level here at 34K as well as down here at just above 25, 26K. So it is possible that price retraces to one or both of these levels to take out these leverage positions because that can be advantageous for larger entities trying to accumulate more because they can buy into these liquidations into these forced sell sells onto the market but who knows what's going to happen the plan is clear for me it's to uh, continue accumulating strong fundamental and strong narrative altcoins much of which we will talk about in future videos and to sell into the peak hype of alt season 12 to 18 months after the bitcoin having most likely i don't care if we see one of the most epic financial crises of all time and we put in a new low i don't think we will but i don't care even if we do i'm still accumulating because i have a feeling that what will play out in 2024 and 2025 is going to be well worth it and like I said, Bitcoin can easily roll over here and come down to the 34, 31K level, which actually would make quite a bit of sense because this is such a strong level here. And it wouldn't be surprising if Bitcoin came down to retest this. Yet also, it is not too uncommon for Bitcoin to retest the 0.5 Fibonacci retracement level uh, during the pre-having year run-up. So that would be about 42,000. So basically... I have no clue what's going to happen. You can draw lines all over the chart however you want and pitch scenarios for both ways. I don't care about the short-term price action. I just have immense conviction about where this cycle is headed over the next two years. And also, as long as Bitcoin maintains this strong uptrend here, this is going to be a large level of support where a lot of buyers are going to step in. And it's going to take a serious event to push this price below, in my humble opinion. With that being said, if you guys like this video, please give it a like. Please drop a comment if you gain some value or have any questions. And if you want to learn more and interact with me directly and our community, please join my personal Discord server. We will be talking about this stuff nonstop. The community is meant for us to learn from each other, to help each other grow, to help each other navigate this upcoming market cycle, and to absolutely crush it and make some life-changing gains and some lifelong friendships along the way. So I hope to see you in there. The link is down below. I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace out. Love you all. Goodbye.